Other people really influenced me as a young woman and a young mother. Um, so that was really important, I think, early on. Um, Virginia Lettinga was influential in that and helped me um, to understand how I could combine those roles. Um, Mary Ellen Ashcroft as well, just thinking about how can you be a woman and be a professor. Um, and Mike Holmes, too, was really influential in that area. Um, I can remember in particular one day um, my son had been really late to, to walk. Um, he hadn't taken his, his first steps and I had been with him at home all summer and I came back and it was um, the faculty workshop days and wouldn't you know, um, as I had just come back to teach, my in-laws called and said that my son had taken his first steps and I had missed them. So I kind of was just, oh man, Lord, is this what I should be doing? I just missed my son's first steps. Um, so I kind of wandered upstairs from my office, was just kind of wandering the halls, and I ran into Mike Holmes, and he said, and I talked with him and just said, oh my goodness, I just missed my son's first steps. And he said, oh wow, wasn't that a great gift you could give to your in-laws? And He's, he's just such a bright person, but he used those, that intellect to help me also just as a person and to just begin to accept who I was as both a mother and a professor and how God was using both of those roles and how I could kind of rest in both of those roles and be okay um, and have a new mindset as to, oh wow, yeah, that is right. That was a gift that I could give to my in-laws. Isn't that awesome that they were there to observe my son's first steps? And isn't it awesome I'm here and interacting with students and helping them um, to become all who God wants them to be.